Good evening. Welcome to the Christmas Eve candlelight service. We, we have been waiting and waiting for several uh, weeks to have tonight, holy night, where Jesus is born to the world, to into our heart. And on this day, we're going to celebrate the celebration birth of a child, Jesus Christ. So let us open our hearts and minds and wide open, hear the heavenly songs during this time in heaven and here on earth, joyfully worship the Lord on this night. For today, for the service, we have uh, several uh, participants and we are very thankful for them. And let us um, prepare for the worship service so that we can um, really uh, spirit up for the service. We light the candle of hope to remind us of the promises made by all the prophets that God would raise up a savior for his people Israel. Christ is our hope and our salvation. He calls us to share our hope in him with each other. We light the candle of peace to remind us that it is only with God and by following in his path that true peace can be found. Christ brings the peace of God to us. He calls us to share the peace he gives with each other. We light the candle of joy to remind us that God gives joy to every heart that abides in him. As Mary rejoiced in the birth of Jesus, so his birth in us brings us joy. God calls us to share the joy he gives with each other. And we light the candle of love to remind us that Jesus is God's gift of love to us, and that in him the light of love triumphs over darkness. Love never fails. It transforms all those who give it and receive it. God calls us to share his love with each other. Would you join me singing, O come, holy faithful, would you stand for singing? Number 234, we will sing one, three, and six.
join me in the call to worship. On this holiest of nights, we come joining the shepherds and wise men who are taught by the wonder. On this most silent night, we come, our hopes and dreams, joining those of Mary and Joseph. On this night of carols and candlelight, we come, our glad songs and joining with the choirs and singers over us. Let us go see this Savior who is born to us, and let us adore him. Here is our joyful song, Joy to the World 134. We are singing one and two. of Christ, it's not going to be happy. So let us share the joy and happiness with our neighbors. Here, say, peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us do that. Peace, peace of the Lord. And also with you. Thank you. Peace be with you. <laughs> so good to have you all today. Peace be with you. Merry Christmas. Peace be with you. 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 brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth and sin and there repining till he brightly shining it is the night of our dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and air repining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth our Joy said. 
Led by the light of faith serenely beaming With glowing hearts by His cradle we stand So led by light of stars sweetly gleaming Here came the wise man of Orient land The King of Kings laid us in lonely manger In all our trials born to be our friend he walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in a pitch dark land light has dawned a child is born to us a son is given to us and authority will be on his shoulders he will be named wonderful counselor mighty God eternal father prince of peace please turn to him away in the manger number 242 in the large hymnal The scripture reading from Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax lists. This first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph had belonged to David's house and family line, 
he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn son, a child, a firstborn son, wrapped him in snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. The First Noel, page 245, verses 1 and 2. Chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Nearby shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. Please sing, Angels We Have Heard on High, verses 1 and 2.
Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 20. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything happened just as they had been told. Hark the herald angels sing, verses 1 and 2. time let us pray together there are a lot of people out there need God's comfort and peace and guidance and joy and happiness as we pray let all our concerns put on our Lord Jesus Christ let us pray Almighty God you have made this holy beautiful night by the gift of your Son, born of the Holy Spirit and of Mary. Thank you for the gift of Christ, who is our Emmanuel, God with us. Under this sky, ours is a silent night, a holy night, and there is a heavenly peace in many of our lives because the gift, the gifts we have are many, and the love that surrounds us is strong. Upon him rested all your grace. Through him has come all your mercy. Let his light shine within our hearts tonight, even more brightly than it shines from the candles in this place. O oh God, we lift up those who are in special need of you this night as they face struggles and challenges in their daily lives. We pray for the homeless, the brokenhearted, those with illnesses and medical challenges, and those who are facing difficult decisions, and those who are in hospital at this time. Surround each one of us with the goodness of a Christ's birth, just as a great company of angels surrounded the shepherds 
when they wore out in the fields watching their flocks by night. Thank you that all of us are invited to come home for Christmas and hear this place. And thank you that all of us are welcome around the manger of the Christ child. Nobody is left out. Remind us that the light of Christ will always shine brightly as we seek to follow him. May tonight be a new beginning for us as we allow the light of Christ to shine in our lives through our prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. Whenever we feel alone around this season, remind us of this holy night when we are gathered here to welcome the light of Christ into the world. Do not let us forget, oh God, don't let us forget and help our church, all the people, to not forget to shine your light in all that we do and say. May our church be like a lighted candle that always shines bright right here in this heart of this university community. Shine your lights around us and through us even as we leave from here tonight. In the name of the light of the world, Jesus Christ, and as he grows, teach us how to pray. Sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. There are many, many good stories on Christmas Eve night. But I want to uh, share this story that really happened. It captures how we prepare this holy night. A man sat at a metro station in Washington, D.C. and started to play the violin. It was a cold January early in the morning. He played six Bahak pieces for about 45 minutes. During that time, since it was rush hour, it was calculated that thousands of people went through the station, most of them on their way to work. Three minutes went by, and a middle-aged man noticed there was a musician playing the violin. He slowed his pace and then stopped for a few seconds and then hurried up to meet his gazer. A minute, a minute later, the violinist received his first dollar tip. A woman threw the money in the, can, the tin and without stopping continued to move on. A few minutes later, someone leaned against the wall to listen to the musician. But the man looked at his watch and started to walk again. And clearly, he was late for work. The one who paid the most attention was a three-year-old boy. His mother 
tag him along. Let's go, let's go, boy. And hurry, but the kid stopped to look at the violinist. Finally, the mother pushed hard, and the child continued to walk, turning his head all the way to see musician. This action was repeated by several other children. All the parents, without exception, forced them moved on. In the 45 minutes, the musician played, only six people stopped and stayed for a while. About 20 gave him money, but continued to walk their normal pace. He collected $32. When he finished, playing and the silence took over, no one noticed it. No one applauded, no was there any recognition. No one knew this, but the violinist was Joshua Bear. If you know him, he's a famous person one of the most and best musicians in the world. He played one of the most intricate pieces ever written with a violin worth $3.5 million. Two days before he playing in the subway, Joshua Bell sold out at the theater in Boston and the seats average 100 each. This is a real story. Joshua Bear playing beautiful songs in the metro station was organized by the Washington Post as part of a social experiment about perception of people taste, and priority of people. The outlines were, in a common place environment at, at an appropriate hour. Do we perceive beauty? Do we stop to appreciate it? Do we recognize the talent in an unexpected context? If we do not have a moment to stop and listen to the one of the best musicians in the world playing some of the best music ever written, and how many other things are we Missing. This evening, we have paused for a moment to celebrate the glory of heaven, ringing out loudly, proclaiming the wonder of God in the world. Christ Jesus, who came into the world to offer redemption and the lasting hope. He is the King of kings for the world. In Christ, we hear the bells of heaven ringing loudly. In Christ, we see God the grand violinist, as it were, playing a sweet, a sweet melody of hope, eternal life, redemption. And we have been invited by God to attend this wonderful symphony of life. And we have been ushered 
by uh, Holy Spirit into our seats. And here we are being overwhelmed by the majesty and beauty of the song being played Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. Imagine this time in heavenly place, joyfully playing symphony with the beautiful musicians. And here on earth, we gather in this place to celebrate the birth of Christ. This evening, our loving God breaks through the darkness a child is given to us to reign in our hearts, to rule the world, to save people. Tonight, we came to celebrate God in the flesh, the promised Messiah. This Christ child is our hope, peace, and joy and will set the captive free to offer hope of eternal salvation to you and to me. On this night, our heart to be joyful, our soul rejoice in the Lord because of this great gift for all the world on this silent and holy night. On this night, let us receive, let us remember even silent moment, just moment to stop this season, to listen the voice of God and hear the sound of salvation, unlapping of a great gift, the beauty, the majesty of Christ and Jesus tonight. And here again, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Unto us, Christ is born. Unto us, a child is given. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And we can add it here, the savor of me, savor of you, savor of the word Christ. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts to receive the Holy Communion. And on this night is a special night that we can be joyfully uh, singing uh, to the Lord and a happy birthday to the Lord. And here, let us break the bread and share the salvation that Jesus is going to give us tonight. Long time ago, grown up Jesus was with all the disciples and shared the bread with them and make sure all the people as they are eating they are all people belong to God. He holds the bread. and gave thanks to the Lord, his heavenly Father, and broke the bread and gave to his disciples and said, this is my body is given for you. As you take it, remember that I love you. And I will come in again and again every season to remind you that I love you very much and giving my heart for you. So let us 
break the bread, be thankful for the greatness of God. After dinner is almost over, he holds the cup and gave thanks to his heavenly father and said to his disciple, and now to all of us, this is my cup of salvation I have given to you. Remember as you drink it, it's my love for you. I even sacrificed my life, whole life for you. So take it and be thankful and follow me. So let us remember his love for us. And especially tonight, as we celebrate birth of child, we all can be joyfully and be body of Christ and be thankful. Please take uh, bread from tray and wait until all the people um, have it, and then we can all eat together. Let us take it, be thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ who is born tonight. Here's the cup of salvation for you.
Let us drink it in remembrance of the love of God through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the celebration that we face together on this night. We thank you and thank you again for the Christ child is for us. Through him, we have eternal salvation. God, we thank you again for the blessing that we share tonight. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> You're waiting for the offering, right? <laughs> Let us offer our thanksgiving to the Lord Jesus Christ as we receive this uh, wonderful meal from the Lord. And Michelle, come up. God, we thank you for the, this blessing once again. So we bring this offering to you to bless and all the offering, our hearts and minds, to use for your kingdom to come. And thank you again for the Jesus Christ. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be said it. Tonight is a night for which we have all been waiting for. The lightning of our Christ candle will now complete our Advent wreaths. My family, can you help me to light the Christ candle? For unto us a child is given, unto us a Savior is born, 
authority will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And this time, and long, long time ago, when the Christ light, uh, uh, light up, and then we all hear the sound of bell. And all, I hope that you can hear 12 times David were ringing. So let us hear, if you can hear. So that is, this is our time to listen attentively, hear the Now Christ's light to light up. So it's your turn. Light the word with a candle. You can have the light up. So our family will light going around uh, uh, iron and have the light candles. Our plan was to going out. When I check the weather, even the warm outside, it's not good because it's windy. So we will stay inside singing our, our song, Silent Night and Holy Night.
as you leave this place, remember Jesus is with you. Our baby Jesus, bringing joy into your heart and to lure the world with a peace and joy and hope and love. Let us share the joy with our people at home and community and this nation and the world. The love of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit within you, within our family, and with in our nation especially, and the world. We all say, Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>